Welcome to Politics Tonight. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I am Olajubokeo Latunji. President Bola Tinobu has challenged his 48 ministers to deliver on their responsibilities or get sacked. The president said he is determined to succeed in discharging his duties and charged his cabinet members to ensure they don't become clocks to the wheels of Nigeria's progress. The president gave this charge while declaring open a three-day cabinet retreat at the State House Conference Center in Abuja. The retreats with a theme, delivering on the renewed hope agenda, had ministers, permanent secretaries, presidential aides, and top government officials in attendance. There is no definite resolution in sight in the disagreements between River State Governor Siminalayu Fubara and the FCT Minister Yusum Wiki. But to prevent further cracks in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the governors visited Wiki with the aim of ending this crisis in the state. CBC News, Habida Lawal reports. Nobody can intimidate me. Since his exit from office on May 29th this year, the former River State Governor, Yesum Wiki, has remained a central figure of political discourse in his state. It is no longer news that Yesum Wiki was at loggerheads with the leadership of the PDP and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, after losing out in the party's presidential primary. Now, he and River State Governor, Siminala Yifubara, his former mentee are falling out. Four PDP governors are here in continuation of moves to reconcile both men. They express satisfaction over the bipartisan stance of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and appeal to Yesom Wike to always remain with the PDP. A jolly good friend to all in our party and a national figure who is dispensing national service as a minister of the FCT. And we just came out of a little crisis on his state. It is because of his maturity and leadership. And indeed, the intervention of Mr. President, this towering crisis appeared to be nipped in the bud. In his response, Yesom Wike says impeachment is not a military coup as it is constitutionally recognized. I'm not interested in all the rumors, money, this, this, and that, rubbish, rubbish, absolute rubbish. I just left office, how many months ago? I'm an FCT minister. But nobody can take away our political structure. No one. He thanks President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for deeming it fit to call the warring parties together for this position. It is not easy. It is quite a matured mind to do this. He was an AMPP when he was given the Minister of uh, FCT. I mean, that is politics. Who can contribute, who can help to move the nation forward? Against what some people believe, Mr. Wike says he has no plans to leave the People's Democratic Party for a long time. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja. In Imo State, the state command of the Nigerian police says it has not arrested the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC Joe Ajero, as being reported in the media. In a statement in a worry, the police public relations officer, Henry Okoye, clarified some reports alleging the arrest of NLC president. The state's PPRO noted that the NLC president was in a wary as part of arrangements of the Congress to mobilize workers for a protest in the state. In the course of their planning, it was reported that suggestions arose for the lockdown of some essential facilities, particularly the airport, which led to some workers and other individuals resisting the picketing. In the same vein, the state's government has also washed its hands clean concerning the arrest of president of the NLC. Joe Ajero, and the State Commission of Foreign Information and Strategy, Declan Melumba, said those accusing the government of arresting the NLC president are perennial mischief makers, always crying wolf when there is none. The commissioner recalled that the purported strike in the state had been stopped by the National Industrial Court in Oweri, which makes the planned action illegal.